Seko Talks, experts in action. Today, two experts. <laughs> Lukasz, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Today, Lukasz Fiałkowski. Hello. You, you worked in the service department for eight years. Yeah, it was short episode. Okay, now you, now you represent sales department, but yes. thanks right. to this, I would like to ask you, what to avoid when operating vacuum fairness? What's your experience? We have few minutes, okay. but this is the topics for a few hours or a few days. Okay. It's a lot of things. Now I try to use my experience from the service to support the customer. When I visit the people, always I try to give some tips. And what are your observations? <laughs> it's many different customers. Okay. Some of them, they are with huge experience. Some of them just start. This is the beginning of the, the working with the vacuum furnaces. And always at the beginning, if they are at the beginning, the way always is some... So, Lukasz, let's try to find... Mistakes. The most, the most critical mistakes yes. or, or your tips, what to improve or what to avoid yeah, when yeah. operating vacuum furnaces. Of furnace. course. I like to start maybe with the first topic, what yes. is when I visiting the people, I see many times, for example, that the door of the furnace, they furnace are open. open. Yeah. Furnace is open. And so you mean furnace is open, people are preparing some load? Even no. Even Just no. Sometimes I see that I come to the company and furnace is open like this. Why it's not okay? Always I try to explain that the furnace don't like air. This is the vacuum furnace. Of course. And we should take care that the, the isolation, the graphite, so, Lukasz, they don't have so much time. Your suggestion is, when we load the furnace, we open the, we open the door. Yes. We put the load inside. And fast. Go out, yeah. close the door and switch on the pumping system exactly. to keep the furnace under the vacuum. Under the vacuum, yes. Okay. The shorter time is the best. The shorter time is the best to keep the furnace in good condition, in yes. good shape, but yeah. also to make the further future processes you know, in clean exactly vacuum. because you know right. when the furnace is open too long time that's it creates some contamination okay. cond water condensation and when you start the process the piping is longer this is not just few minutes longer sometimes it's two three times pumping is longer this is also aspect connecting to the work vacuum okay for example so oxygen of the Oxi oxi you can oxidize the parts. Yes. Yeah? And That's we can expect more erosion yes. of the graphite component. Exactly. The you increase the lifetime. Good. The second point, what yeah. to avoid? Yeah. Or to avoid. For example, if we are touch the vacuum, it's also nice to speak about the sublimation. Yes. Sublimation the of the load. Of the load. Exactly. Because, for example, the many materials, including the chromium. Chromium is start to sublimate about 850 degrees C together with the vacuum is dangerous for the furnace for so, you change the chemical composition of the parts you don't like to do yes. it so yes. we put for example tool steel yes. inside yes. some knives or dice whatever yes. yes and if we go for the high temperature with 1000 maximum vacuum yes it's better to this is this is uh, why always i try to explain that we have three different heating Okay. Inside the vacuum furnace, fill is convection. People also not use sometimes the convection, but in this lower is temperature. in lower temperature. Yes. Okay. It's not good radiation, and we try to speed up the process even about 30 percent. Okay. Thanks to the convection, that first convection heating, after vacuum heating, and connecting to the sublimation is very important to use the partial pressure heating. Thanks good. to this, we decrease the vacuum. Yes, that we increase the pressure to one millibar, for example, we eliminate the sublimation and we can go for higher temperature with no changing the chemical composition and increase the lifetime of the hot chamber. Okay, if we not make the processes with, with uh, partial pressure, we can yes. expect some green. green color. Green. If this is normal when I open the furnace, I see the green, I asking, okay. do you have the partial pressure? And many people no. asking what but, it is. But they have options, Option. but they not, not Exactly, yours. exactly. Having some uh, impurities in the furnace, what to do to make the, the furnace condition better, to keep it in clean condition? Like we mentioned, 
not open the fullness for a long time. Okay, but uh, partial, Sublimage, pressure, partial pressure is also. I about something like not a process for heat treatment, but heating up to the burn maximum out, temp, burn out. Burn out. Exactly, yes. and this is also the topics when I visit, I don't see the nice color like yes. this is a really nice chamber now. Yes, but after a few years, it's changing the color, condition, yes, and so always I recommend it to do minimum one time per two, three weeks, the burnout process. Burnout means empty furnace. Empty. This is very important. Empty furnace with no, no fixture, no, no, fixture load. no load, because we because? go for very high temperature, okay. about 1300. So yeah, we that's... close the door. We make the maximum vacuum under and, the and process we... is made under the vacuum. We cool uh, after un under the vacuum and it's nice to do because okay. also many people is not doing this leak test. That means but we are burn out. It's from one hand, it's an additional cost for the company. Yes. But from another hand, we can extend the lifetime of the hot zone. Yes, exactly. So there is always and, a cl and clean, remove the remove some uh, impurities. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You said about leak rate test. Leak rate. And you can do it just after the burnout, that this is not any extra cost, not okay. any extra process. But if you are checking the leak in the furnace, you are sure that you, any oxygen is not come yes. from outside. And yes. there are no internal leaks. And internal and external also, yes, yes. you know. But our intention is to not only to create a vacuum, yes. because we can measure always vacuum, it's in good condition. Yes. But we have to be sure that there is no external flow inside to, in, into the furnace mm -hmm. from outside. Yes, any oxygen and... and exactly. Other. And people for many times forget about to checking the leak rate. Okay. But I recommend it to do it this. If the result is negative, it's also nice to have the helium leak detector or maybe rent for some one, two days to check the furnace from outside with the Gosh. by helium. Before this recording, we already discussed a little bit, and now I have to ask you about these sockets. What, it, it, what it is? Yeah, what, it, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> it looks like a connection to the load thermocouple. But you know, right. of course, I joke, but we have special connection yes. between inside and also between outside. We have external jacket that you can connect to the you can connect to the recorder. Mm -hmm. You can easily connect the load thermocouple, yes, so and I, make the TUS test. Okay, so internal uh, connections for load thermocouples to make temperature uniformity survey yes, and also yeah. periodically we can check. Of course, aerospace market, it's They uh, make mandatory. every three months, yeah, yes. but... Mostly also, every three months. But other in industry also, in my opinion, should to do it minimum one, two times per year. You Just to check. It. I recommend Why? it. Not many people do this. Yeah. Uh, friendly speaking, sometimes I visit the people and they work five, ten years with no TUS. And, and they are surprised that they have different hardness parameters. Yes, yes, yes. Depend yes. about the, 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 where is the, the parts okay. installed again. So low thermocouples for temperature uniformity survey to be yes. sure that we, we make every process in a uh, Incorrect way. Required in range, exactly. temperature range. And the second load thermocouples we can use also for every process, yes? If you are, this is the expensive, but it's like, it's nice to do it. But mm -hmm. even you don't like to use the load thermocouple for each process. Because if you repeat the same parts, the same process, you don't need to use every process, the load thermocouple. But in the first one, it's good to do it. Yes. Because thanks to this, you can make the optimization of the time of the process. That means heating speed holding temperature, that you can make the process shorter thanks to use the load so thermocouple. you can increase furnace efficiency, of course, furnace lifetime. Yes. yes. And, and you can reduce the energy cost. Yes. And you can save the time of the process thanks to the use load thermocouple. So it's, the question was what to avoid when operating vacuum furnace, but this is also opposite. Yeah. What yeah. To better to, to use mm -hmm. when operating? I like to give some yes. tips today, what I see during Okay. visiting many customers, but touch to back to the TUS test. We explained that we have very nice connection for low thermocouple. Here we have the spe special port, yes. which you can use for connecting the low thermocouple. So I understand one moment because in the old, let's say old design, the making the TUS was maybe more complicated. Yes. And uh, 
takes a lo long time. Longer, Today, because the, the install... design is simple for maintenance people, they can do it very mm -hmm. easy and mm -hmm. in a fast mm -hmm. way, yes? They need to just bring, they just need to bring the... Lukasz, you said about closing the door, so I close the yes, door? Yes, please, we need to do it. Okay. I can help you. Yeah. Ah. Good. And now you want to say something? Yes, that I just like to mention that when we are linking for the TUS test, that you can use this type of the frame. Yes. That we have the frame dedicated for the special size of the uh, furnace with nine points of the loading so thermocouple. Each corner and the center. Exactly. Wow. And you just connect this thermocouple to the plugs inside. That's so, all. It's fast preparation. You make a few hours process, cool down, and you are sure that you have the correct uniformity of the heating. In other way, you recommend to have temperature uniformity survey frame mm -hmm. with dedicated thermocouples, yes. waiting for, let's say, periodical yes. temperature uniformity One, survey. One, two times test. per year is okay. minimum, in my opinion. Perfect. Yeah. And another aspect, what I also, during the visit, I see that the people is sometimes not take care and forget it's water, water uh, parameters. That uh -huh. means, you know, in vacuum furnace, we cool down the vessel. Door, the vessel, the pumping system. Everything yes. is double wall. Yes. That means we cool the equipment by water that you can touch by hands. Maximum temperature is about 50 degrees C with the standards. Yeah? Thanks to this, the people need to, need to take care about the water parameters. Yes. And this is why always I recommended to use the closed loop water system and to checking the water, water parameters so, condition. Yes, last but not least parameter, what is very critical, it's water quality. Quality, in the water hardness, quality. pH, you know, all these parameters is really important okay. to, to keep in the good shape the vessel, because this is, in my opinion, the most expensive you part. Can, by the bad quality of the water, you can destroy the furnace. In a few yes, years. So. Yes. Yeah, that's... Okay. This, to, to, to take care about the corrosion aspect is, is good to take care about the water. And I can sh show you some elements. I, I, I can show you some elements. For example, we have here some uh, water system. For example, we speak closed loop water system. For this system is additionally the water tank and also the uh, air cooler. Thanks to this system, you protect the parameters of the water. That the water don't have any contact with the air. Thanks to this, we keep in good shape the, is, the, the furnace. This is just the, 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 some segment because segment. with pumping system, but we need also water buffer tank, exactly. yes, heat exchanger or exactly. external heat exchanger. Yes. But this is, let's say, a complete uh, set of water system also with uh, uh, possibility to check the quality and improve the quality. Yes? Improve and also you can add to this system some system which will be take care about the water parameters and add every few days, yes. every few weeks, some chemical. Okay. Lukas, thank yes. you very much for sharing your great experience. I personally know what to avoid when operating vacuum furnace, thanks to this discussion. It's just few tips, you know. Just few tips. If you need to, if you like to know more, now you know. We, can, we know who uh, you can contact. Who to ask, and, yes. but if you have any additional suggestions, please write in the comment below. Or contact me directly. I will be pleasure to help you. Okay, thank you for today's episode of Seco Talks. Świetnie.